morning, everybody. Level M Diecast. Looking at something pretty cool today. We got a couple of posters. Uh, this first one is, of course, from 1984. Uh, Hot Wheels. Both of these are from Hot Wheels. These are original uh, back-in-the-day posters. So 1984 collector's poster. Showing a nice selection of models on here. Of course, they still had real riders back then. You know, and they were just part of this, their regular lineup. They were just the real riders. Um, not like today where the only way you'd get a real rider is in a super or something like that in the main line. But uh, this was called Super Scraper. Of course, that's the byway man. You got your Bronco in there. Um, and a lot of these came in both gray and white hub wheels. Some more rare than others. There's your Beach Patrol, which looks pretty cool. I really like this one, the Dodge D50, one of my favorite ones. I've never uh, come across this one as a real rider, the blue one. Um, but I have come across this one, the Dodge Rampage, which is pretty cool. Your Jeep Scrambler, a couple of F1-style cars, Formula Fever, Turbo Streak, and Lightning Gold. There is your A-Team van, which is not actually licensed, but it's it's 100% the A-Team van, uh, which looks pretty cool. Uh, 40s Ford, 40 Woody, T-Bird, and then, of course, your three-window 34, which is pretty cool. I've come across a couple of those uh, over the years. Um, and then, of course, you have your classic Cobra. I actually do have that one, uh, blistered still. It was a gift to me. Uh, real, real rider. Um, and then your split window, this one in black. Never seen that model uh, in real life, so I'm not really sure the deets. And then there's two more models here on the bottom. Your Dream Van XGW. They still use a version of that casting to this, to this day, but it's not the original casting. And then, of course, your Baja Bug, uh, which looks pretty cool. They had it broken up into some segments. So, of course, we had workhorses, which this is when Hot Wheels was actually making good stuff. They were making a good variety of stuff. It wasn't just all cars and fantasy stuff. Um, they had a nice, good mixture. So you had your cat forklift, your cat dump truck, your cat bulldozer, your cat wheel loader. Um, those were all licensed castings originally. Um, they were retooled after that to get rid of the licensing. Uh, your Peterbilt cement truck, um, Peterbilt cement truck, not all that common. The dump truck was was pretty common. The tanker was relatively common in certain decos. This particular one in California construction, old in uh, orange, looks cool. Uh, rig wrecker, that is a Ford cab over, which is a pretty cool casting. The tow hitch didn't do anything on it. Um, and then the original highway hauler, this particular one for Mayflower. Um, this one is kind of an interesting thing. The rear axle is part of the plastic rear section. So it's just the truck in the two front axles. It's kind of weird. Uh, phone truck um, that is based on a, I think an F-250, I believe. Um, I've come across a couple of these and dump-ins and stuff. Of course, the boom is always gone because it was a moving feature. Uh, trash truck. This is one of the older trash trucks. Doesn't have the overhead uh, dumper like they used in the 90s, in the later 90s. And then, of course, your crane truck. Um, that is a Grove uh, casting I'm not sure if it's licensed, licensed, but it's a Grove. Um, one of the cooler ones is that Airport Rescue. That thing is very heavy. Um, it's not quite as heavy as the original Greyhound bus, but it's pretty heavy. And then, of course, your Peterbilt. And then, of course, the Ford Stake Bed, which is the same casting as the Ford Cadaver. Your Sunagun, which was a removable top. These were extras. All those pieces were put uh, separately in the blister. Uh, your Hightail Hauler, which had a topper on the back of it. The 31 Doozy, which had the removable roof. And then, of course, the very last one is the Oshkosh Snowplow in orange, which is pretty cool. Um, some of the other segments that they had in here, of course, uh, Ultra Hots, the original versions of Ultra Hots. It's right in the crease of the... Uh, crease of the... Um, posters, so I do apologize get that glare to go away a little bit of course your solar cx4 the predator which was the 928 the flame runner your quick trick which is of course the uh i believe that's the testarossa might be the 308 um it's one of the two and then of course your speed seeker which had an opening canopy um that canopy would actually roll back uh which was super cool and then the last one is of course the bmw m1 uh which is called the wind splitter but that one's pretty cool. I had an opening hatch in the back, which was pretty sweet. Uh, just a small selection there. Those were the uh, Ultra Hots from back in the day, the original Ultra Hots. 
Uh, moving on from that, the Hot Ones. These ones had that super cool gold wheel on it. Um, you know, Hot Wheels still does that wheel for certain lines, mainly for Target, some retro stuff. Um, they do like chrome ones and gold ones, but it's, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Uh, 57 Chevy, 55 Chevy, Cannondale, uh, or Cannonade, I should say. Uh, your Camaro, your blown Z28, which is kind of a cool casting. The regular Z28, your flat out 442. Of course, that's an old 442. And then the 911 Turbo. I do have that one for sure. Uh, Torino Stalker, the T Bird Stalker with the Valvoline on it. I do have that one. Uh, Racing Stalker, the old school with the Mountain Dew. That one's super cool. I've come across that a few times, but not, not one that's in good shape. They've all been pretty beat up. Uh, Corvette Stingray, that's a very, very common car. Um, that one is definitely not hard to find. Uh, 80s Corvette, that one's relatively common too. Same with the 80s Firebird and the Hotbird. Those were definitely uh, common ones. Definitely not common was the 200SX, uh, the front run of Fairmont. That one, um, you can probably find that in dump bins. Um, but in, just in my experience, that one's definitely not been as common. Uh, even beat up. Uh, Turbo Mustang, I've never actually seen that particular deco uh, in real life. So I don't know if that's uh, just a you know pre-pro deco or if that actually made it to production. Um, but regardless, that one does look good. And then, of course, the 82 Supra, which is a very, very good casting. I do have uh, a black one, a Hot Ones black one, an original blister carded one. I do have that one in the collection, not that particular color, but one in black. Uh, moving on to some other heavy hitters here. These are some basic ones. Uh, Thunder Roller, your Pepsi Challenger, which is cool with the opening top. Coming in on this side, of course, the Ramblin' Wrecker. Uh, that casting does go back into the Red Line era. There is some Red Lines of the Ramblin' Wrecker, so it's a little bit older. Uh, Ford Escort, that is a super cool casting. Um, I know it's kind of weird. People are like, that's Ford Escort, but it, it's really cool. It's really cool. Dixie Challenger, there are two versions of this. There is one with the flag on the roof, one without the flag. Um, I do have both versions. Uh, the 67 Camaro. That one is a uh, pretty sought-after one, one of the original versions of it. Pontiac J2000, such a just a, a, a dismal car in real life. I've never, ever seen that black wall, ever. Um, that casting at all. It doesn't matter what version. I've never seen one. Uh, 65 Mustang, very, very common, very common. Uh, good humor truck, very common. This is the blue deco version. Um, there's also one that's all red instead of blue. The original Blazer. Of course, new 484, as it says, this one did come with opening doors and all metal construction, which was really nice. The school bus, oops, sorry about that. The school bus there looks pretty cool. It was a plastic casting, uh, which was definitely not common at the time uh, to do something like that. But that casting was plastic with a metal base. The uh, seats were integrated into the base, which was kind of interesting. Uh, Fire Chaser, um, tons of different versions of that guy. I've come across a few of these. Probably not common, but not uncommon. Um, these models look like they were actually done up as uh, kind of resin mock-ups for this particular shoot. Um, you can tell that they definitely look, um, at least the tank looks hand-painted, which is cool. I like that look. Um, obviously, the uh, troop carrier was still a progress in progress. Uh, a material in progress. Production in progress. Something to that effect. Um, but you can see it doesn't have any windows or anything in it, but that looks super cool. I wish they would have released that one just like that, all tan. I think that would have been cool, um, but it ended up getting a tan canopy and a dark green uh, body. Uh, Frito-Lay, this is, of course, the Combat Medic. I have yet to uh, come across one of these in my searches. Um, I have a lot of Combat Medics, but I certainly don't have this one. Um, I've seen a couple of them beat up, but they were very, very, very beat up, and there's really no point buying Something that's beat up like that. Uh, Fire Eater and Emergency Squad, two of the more most common black walls ever, along with the Sheriff Patrol. Those are three of the most common black wall cars, period. Um, Tricar X8, that one is relatively uh, popular as well, or common, I should say. Uh, Long Shot, I do have a few of these exact ones in the collection. I don't have any that are mint, uh, but I have some that are in pretty good shape. Uh, turbo Heater looks like uh, maybe a uh, Daytona-era K-Series car, maybe, from uh, Dodge or Chrysler. Um, 
don't know if I've ever seen one of those, but that one's a mock-up as well. Landlord, kind of interesting. I've had a few of those over the years. Not a very popular model. Uh, Vet Funny, and then a Firebird Funny Car. Those are pretty common. All of them are pretty common. Not, not super rare. Uh, and then, of course, the Greased Gremlin. That one is kind of cool. They use that casting all the way into the late, late 90s, maybe even the early 2000s, which was kind of interesting. Same with the old number five. That one carried on for quite some time. Neat Streeter, they had no interior. It's kind of interesting build. Uh, it's basically just a top and bottom. And then we get into the 30s era cars, which I do like a lot. Mercedes-Benz 540K. This one came in white wall and black wall. The Phantom 2 Rolls-Royce also came in black wall and white wall. Uh, the Auburn 852 in white, same again, black wall, white wall. 34 Packard, 35 Classic Caddy. I don't believe the Caddy came in a black wall. I think it only came in the white wall. Um, and then, of course, the 37 Bugatti, um, which also came in black and white wall as well. See, there is your details right there. 1983 Mattel Hawthorne CA. There's the logo right there. Pretty cool. This one will be a little bit uh, more difficult to go through. This this one is much, much larger. This one um, is probably about a 3 by 2 or 3 by 3 poster. The, the other one that we were just looking at is only like a 2 by 2 um, So this one is significantly larger. So we'll kind of go through this a little bit. See how this works out. There is your vintage cars. See, a lot of them are pretty much the same. This is from 1990. So this is six years later. Still producing some of the same exact models uh, after the six years. Of course, the Auburn got a new color. The Talbot dropped in. This one was, of course, the black wall versus the white wall. Mustang went to blue. The Bugatti went to uh, blue with silver. And then there is your 32 Ford delivery. We try to pop this open. Action Command models. Your True Convoy in full uh, obvious production status um it was a pretty old casting by this time roll patrol which was not a actual jeep um it was a modified version of a jeep we'll see how this works when we open this up take a look at our speed fleet got your solar your xt3 your shadow jet um the xt3 and shadow jet are very 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 common uh 80s firebird 80s corvette those are pretty cool decos i've never seen those decos uh like in person um, Camaro Z28, the Ferrari Testarossa, pretty common. The Hotbird, again, pretty common. This one came in a couple different wheel versions. The Hotbird also came in the, uh, the Hot Ones. Um, I'm sorry, the Ultra Hots wheel as well with that same American Bird Deco on it. The Pontiac Firebird, or Fiero, um, 2M4. The Nissan 300ZX, and of course the Lamborghini Countach, a couple different decos for the Lamborghini. There is a couple of the other models for the military. Try to roll this down a little bit. A few tanks. Big Bertha command tank, tank gunner, tail gunner. I don't have a tail gunner in green for sure. Um, and then the radar ranger. That one did come in two separate wheel versions. I actually kind of like that ranger, that range radar ranger casting. I think it's kind of cool. Um, and then a couple over here, your T-Bird, your 56 Ford pickup, which of course is the high tail hauler. And then the fat fender 40. Um, as we move to the other side, which is totally not space in the studio, moving over to the, um, you know, fantasy stuff, Shark Bruiser and Vampira, um, which are right there. I know. It's, I'm, I apologize for the crease in the, uh, the, in the poster. That's just kind of how it's going to have to fit in here. Uh, Zombot. Zombot is one of my favorite castings of all time. I don't know why I like it so much, but I really like sci-fi stuff. I like mechs. Um, stuff that obviously I would never bring to the channel, but, um, this is, this is cool. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Cause it's, you know, it's a military vehicle. It's a combat type vehicle. It's kind of cool. Sci-fi, uh, moving into some off road, get this to stop moving for you. There you go. There is the blazer. Um, not sure if I've seen that exact deco. That might be a pre pre-production run or something. They did release that Baja breaker with that deco on it, which was pretty cool. Uh, Suzuki Quad Racer, the Bronco also released. Gulch Stepper and Tall Rider, those also came in two different wheel variations. Um, they both came in the opposite wheels as well. The This is the uh, CT wheel and this is like the original construction wheel. I'm not sure exactly the specific Hot Wheels name for that wheel, but uh, they swapped those out. 
Another model that used a lot of uh, wheel variations and a lot of uh, changes was, of course, the original Nissan Hard Body. Not the uh, mini pickup or anything like that, but that is the original 4x4 Hard Body, which is a pretty cool piece that comes in a few different decos, a few different wheels of the Nissan status. Um, and then it came in a bunch of versions afterwards, of course. Your Byway Min and the Power Plower, those are the exact same castings. Just one has a plow and one doesn't, which is kind of interesting that they were released as two separate models. Surf Patrol with the Real Riders. I do believe that was released with Real Riders, I do believe. Um, and then, of course, your Range Rover in white, which also did come in black in the basic range as well. We'll try to flip this over. i got to be careful with it because I don't want to... Uh, I certainly don't want to uh, rip it or anything like that. So sometimes it doesn't want to fold fold away that it wasn't originally designed to roll, fold. So moving on to the last section of here, Alien, just a whatever. That's actually a GM casting, uh, GM Ultralight, I think is what it was. Uh, Volkswagen Bug Custom Corvette, pretty standard issues. GT Racer, Chevy Stalker, your Ferrari F40, which is very, very nice. Pontiac Banshee, Porsche 959, Probe, funny car. I never realized that was based on a Ford Probe. Interesting. I'm going to have to get one of those now. I thought it was always based on something else. But uh, couldn't tell you what it was based on, but I just thought it was. There is the original mini truck. That mini truck also comes with the um, Hot Ones wheels in silver. Very, 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 very hard to find variation. I don't have that variation, as a matter of fact. Um, that variation is very hard to find. Uh, T-Bird Stalker in Motorcraft. I do have that one, which is pretty cool. Purple Passion. Never been a fan of that casting, so I don't have any of those. Uh, moving on to some work, more work vehicles. Get that to pop for us a little bit. Old number five, wheel loader, bulldozer, dump truck. Of course, all the construction stuff was no longer Caterpillar. They were no longer licensed. They were actually, they modified the castings to take the cat logos off of them. Uh, highway hauler right there again looking pretty decent uh, moving along to the next route let's see if i can get this in the shot again i do apologize there is the good humor truck this time in red the uh oshkosh snowplow i do not have this green version with those wheels i have that green version with those wheels but not with this wheel so i'm still in the hunt for that one and then of course some other ones here your shell tanker looks pretty good your Earth Mover, that one also looks pretty good. I don't have that wheel variation. I have the Earth Mover with that wheel, which is kind of interesting. Again, same old with the Rescue Ranger. Your delivery truck with the mobile tune-up, another good black wall. Moving through back to the other side. The most common ones, of course, Road Roller, Sheriff Patrol, Ambulance, and School Bus. Very, very, very common models. Ford State Bed Truck. They did a uh, red one. This is the blue one. Blue one came first. Your proper chopper, uh, fire eater. Again, same old, same old with the fire eater. And then that is actually a crack up. Um, that's a rollback hauler there, which is kind of interesting. And then, of course, your rambling wrecker. we got one more flap to look at here in just a second. And then your Peterbilt, your Kenworth, your forklift. And then, of course, the dump truck to go along with the uh, cement truck. This does fold the correct way. This is the last section of them. The Mercedes 380 SL. I have this guy with uh, Ultra Hots wheels. I don't have this with black wall. Um, so I definitely have to see if that, that variation exists. Uh, that looks like a pre-pro model of the 300ZX. So I've never seen a 300ZX with black wall. Um, but it probably exists. It probably does. Just probably something I haven't come across. Turbo Streak with real riders. Your Volkswagen Golf came in a bunch of different variations. That looks like a uh, pre-pro model, maybe a resin mock-up. And then there is your Peugeot um, that does have a nice big opening hatch. I actually do have that model exactly, black wall and all. Um, I don't remember where I picked that up, but that was pretty cool. And then, of course, you just have a big Countach there at the bottom with the uh, Ultra Hots wheels on there. You get a bunch of Momo Jumbo, all that good stuff like that. And then there is your date. 1990 Mattel Inc. So there you go. That is a couple of uh, posters, which uh, I do apologize. It's kind of weird, kind of hard to get those on the screen. So we'll kind of see how that goes. We we'll just kind of have to hold that up so you have something to look at. But we're going to roll out. We're going to move on to some other stuff. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about that. Obviously, 
I can do posters way better if they were set up. I do plan on framing these. Um, I probably should have waited to frame them, but I just think they're super cool, and I'm happy to pick them up and just wanted to show them off and see what you guys think about them. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think about those posters in the comments below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you next time right here on Level M. Peace.